The air seemed to be dancing to the rhythm of his hammers. The boss. Read John Henry today. The boss of the road crew looked up. His mouth dropped open. He pointed into the sky. There in the air above the boulder was a rainbow. John Henry was swinging the hammer so fast he was making a rainbow around his shoulders. It was shining and shimmering in the dust and grit like hope that never dies. John Henry started singing. I got a rainbow. Ring, ring. Tied round my shoulder, ring, ring. It ain't gonna rain, no, it ain't gonna rain. Ring, ring, went the hammers. John Henry sang and he hammered, and the air danced and the rainbow shimmered, and the earth shook and rolled from the blows of the hammer. Finally, it was quiet. Slowly, the dust cleared. Folk could not believe their eyes. The boulder was gone. In its place was the prettiest and straightest road they had ever seen. Not only had John Henry pulverized the boulder, the boulder into pebbles, he had finished building the road. What's a boulder? Well, that's a big old rock. Typically, they falls off of the mountainside. When you ride through them canyons, that mountainside that's steep so high, sometimes earth likes to shake and do the shimmy. It'll knock off a big old rock, a big chunk, big old chunk, just fall right into the middle of the road. That's a boulder. It's bigger than a pebble. It's a large pebble, larger than life. And it takes quite a bit of work to get it to a manageable Daddy, size. Daddy, if you went all the way up to Earth, to, if you went all the way up to not see Earth again, and you went even more higher than Earth, then say where, then, then, then. What happens when you be so high in there? So many things can happen, son. It's a science in and of itself. You'd have to go up there and live for a while. Experience it for yourself. See what happens. See how you feel. I can tell you this. Weightlessness. One of the things that happen when you go so high is that the gravity that holds you down to this earth is recessed. What's it, recessed? Recessed means it's out. It's gone. It's no longer there. It's not where it used to be. So gravity somehow changes and you become weightless. You float. You float. Imagine that. Just like the boats that float in your bathtub water. Yeah. They just floats. That's how you do when you go out in outer space. They say it's a lot of different ions out there and lots of different type of energies out there that can do different things to the body. You'd have to go find out for yourself, son. Is that what you want to do? No. Not yet, huh? John Henry sang. In the distance, where the new road connected to the main one, the road crew saw John Henry waving goodbye, a hammer on each shoulder. The rainbow draped around him like love. Okay, this will be the last page, all right? The next morning, all was still. The birds weren't singing and the roosters weren't crowing. The son didn't hear the rooster. He wondered if something was wrong. So he rose a couple, couple of minutes early to see. What he saw was a mountain as big as hurt feelings. On one side was a big machine hooked up to the hoses. It was belching smoke and steam. As the machine attacked the mountain, rocks and dirt and the underbrush flew into the air. On the other side was John Henry. Next to the mountain, he didn't look much bigger than a wish that wasn't going to come true. He had a 20-pound hammer in each hand and muscles hard as wisdom in each arm. As he swung them through the air, they shone like silver. And when the hammers hit the rock, they rang like gold. Before long, tongues of fire leaped out from each blow. Oh, that's a beautiful rock right there. That's a beautiful rock.
see John Harry. Huh? I see John Harry on the on the different mountain. Alright, so let's roll.